In today's video, we're going to be going over the iconic Adidas Samba. Now before you click that add to cart button, I want to give you 10 reasons why you should reconsider copying the Adidas Samba. Now before we get into it, if you guys like fashion, sneakers, and men's grooming, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Now let's go ahead and get into it. So first reason why you might want to reconsider the Adidas Samba is because they're overplayed. Now not that that's a bad thing, but if you're someone who wants something more unique than Sambas, aren't going to be the best option for you. Now we all know the Adidas Samba has become super popular over the past year because of TikTok and other fashion influencers. Now because of this, it's led to overexposure, making it super common to see on the streets. That means if you go out in your Adidas Sambas, don't be surprised to see 10 plus people wearing the exact same sneaker. So again, if you're looking for something more unique and distinctive, you might want to reconsider picking up the Adidas Samba. So let's get into reason number two, and that's limited versatility. Now the Samba's design leans heavily towards a sporty and casual aesthetic which kind of limits the versatility in styling. If you're someone who likes a sneaker that pairs well with streetwear outfits, as well as more formal, dressier outfits, then the Samba might not be for you. Now they do have some collabs that work well with some dressier outfits, but you're gonna be spending anywhere from 800 to 1,000, and I don't care how good the quality is, no Samba is actually worth that much. So let's get into reason number three. You might wanna reconsider picking up the Adidas Samba, is its slim silhouette. Now we know that slim sneakers have had their moment in the fashion scene, some might argue that the Samba's slim silhouette can be a bit overwhelming. Now if you're someone who prefers a chunkier sneaker with a more chunkier silhouette, then you might want to explore some different options. Now I do have to mention, because of the slim silhouette when it comes to the Samba, it's not the best for people with wide feet. Now if you have narrow feet, you're chilling, but my wide feet gang might have some trouble when it comes to the Samba. Real quick guys, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is me, my clothing brand. If you guys didn't know, I recently dropped my first collection. I dropped a four pack of shorts, and if you use the code BOGO, you can get buy one, get one 20% off. So let's go ahead and do a giveaway for a pair of shorts in your size. All you guys have to do is subscribe, like the video, and comment the shorts you want, your size, and your Instagram. So first link in the description down below if you wanna check out the shorts. Now let's go ahead and get back into the video. So that brings me to reason number four, and that's lack of innovation. Let's face it, the Samba hasn't seen much innovation or evolution in recent years. Now, if you're someone who values new design or the latest tech in your sneakers, you might be disappointed when it comes to the Samba. Getting into reason number five, you might not want to pick up the Samba, is its limited colorways. Although some Sambas come in various colorways, the selection can somewhat be limited compared to other sneaker models. If you're someone who likes different patterns and colors to express your unique style, you might find the Samba colorways underwhelming. Getting into number six, why you shouldn't pick up the Adidas Samba, is its lack of durability. Now, some may argue that the Samba is very durable, but people I know personally who wear the Adidas Samba almost daily has had some issues with the construction of the sneaker over time. So if you're someone who's looking for a sneaker with a lot of durability that can withstand a lot of wear and tear, then you might wanna explore some different options with better build quality. Now for a hundred bucks, you can't expect much when it comes to quality. So for the price point, you're definitely sacrificing durability for its low cost. Getting into reason number seven is its lack of cushioning. Now the Samba's classic design places less emphasis on cushioning which can be a concern for those seeking more comfort and support. There is very little to no cushioning when it comes to the Samba. It's literally just the insole and the midsole. That's all you get. So if you're someone who does a lot of walking or likes a lot of cushioning when it comes to their sneakers, then the Samba isn't for you. Getting into tip number eight, it can lead to brand overload. Now don't get me wrong, Adidas is a great brand, no doubt about it. However, if your wardrobe is already heavily dominated by Adidas products, Adding the Adidas Samba might contribute to the brand overload. Sometimes it's good to diversify your sneaker collection and explore different brands that are out there to keep your style fresh and new. Getting into the 10th reason why you should avoid the Adidas Samba, you wanna embrace individuality. Streetwear and fashion in general is all about expressing yourself and standing out from the crowd. By exploring other sneaker options, you have the opportunity to discover unique styles that truly align with you and your personal tastes instead of jumping on the latest trend. So there you have it. 
10 Reasons Why You Should Think Twice About Copping the Adidas Samba. Now, like I always say, buy what you like, but don't buy something just because it's the most popular sneaker at the moment. Now, as always, I appreciate you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>